Hello everyone, welcome to MOVFX and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this type of uh, simple looking text animation in Blackmagic Fusion. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we have to start with a new composition. So go to file menu and click on new and take a new composition. Now check this composition setting. So go to file menu and click on preferences and here is frame format. So this composition is 1920 into 1080 and 30 frame per second. So it's good for now and click on save. Now let's convert this composition into 250 frames. So put the value uh, 250 and hit enter. Okay, now let's import an image file. So go to folder and this is our image. Uh, you can download this image from pixabay.com and I have given a link in the description. So download this and drag and drop to the flow window. And let's rename this image. So press F2 to rename and rename it to image and hit enter. Okay, now drag it to the viewer and click on fit and click on window layout one for single view and increase the size of this uh, preview window and then right click on flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap okay now select this image and press shift plus a space bar for search box and search for crop node so this is our crop node click on ok and drag it to the viewer now select this crop node and go to properties and here is uh, y offset so put the value minus 60 and place this image something like that and select this crop node and take a transform node so click on accept button and drag this transform to the viewer and go to frame 0 and here is a size so put the value 1.4 and hit enter and then right click on size and click on animate and go to frame 250 and make this value 1 okay now it's looking something like this now take a background node so click on bg button and place it over here and take a merge node so connect this yellow point to this transform and green point to this background node and drag this merge to the viewer and select this background and pick a color like uh, deep blue and click on ok and drag this merge to the viewer select this merge and go to properties and here is blend option so put the value 0.5 and hit enter so it's looking something like that okay now take another background node so click on bg button and set this color to yellow click on ok now drag this background to the viewer and here is a rectangle mask so click on this and take a rectangle mask so select this rectangle and press f2 to rename and rename it to r1 and hit enter now select this r1 and go to properties window and here is width and height so put the value 0.7 in width and 0.25 in height okay now paste it over here now select this r1 and press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v okay now select this r1 and press f2 and rename it to r2 okay now hold shift and attach this r2 over here something like this okay now select this r2 and go to paint mode and select subtract okay now select this r2 and put the value 0.67 in width and hit enter okay so it's looking something like that okay now we have to take another background node so click on bg button and take a background and select this r1 and press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v now attach this rectangle mask to this background okay now select this r1 and go to frame 30 and right click on width click on animate and go to frame 0 and make this width value 0 now go to frame number 50 and select this r2 and here is width so right click and click on animate and go to frame number 20 and make this value 0 okay now go to a spline window press f4 to full screen and check this r1 and click on this option here select this keyframe press s to smooth and make this curve something like this okay now select this r2 and click on this one button and click on this option here select these keyframes 
press S to smooth and make this curve something like this okay now press F4 to exit and go to flow window and now let's play this again okay so it's looking nice okay now we have to create a text so click on text plus button and add a text node and select this text and type a text whatever you want to type okay now let's merge this text with this background so take a merge node and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this text and drag this merge to the viewer okay now select this merge and here is operator options so select this and click on in okay now place it over here and take another merge node so click on this merge button and connect this green point to this and yellow point to this merge and drag this merge 3 to the viewer okay now select this text and set this size something like 0 0.18 and hit enter okay now set this font style open sans and change this bold to semi bold okay now set this text okay so now right click on this preview window and here is guide and check this box so guide okay and now set this text like this okay now select this text and go to properties and here is transform option uh, so click on this transform and here is line so click on this and set this line spacing like 0 0.8 and hit enter now let's set this text in center okay now go to frame number 20 and go to this layout option and here is center so right click on this center and click on animate and go to frame 50 okay and then right click on center and set key and go to frame frame number 70 and set this second text over here something like this okay now go to frame number 100 right click on center click on set key and go to frame number 120 and set this third text something like this okay now turn on high quality and turn off this auto proxy now go to frame number 150 and right click on center click on set key and go to frame number 170 and set this last text something like this okay and go to frame number 200 right click on center click on set key and now let's check this okay now go to spline window press f4 to full screen and check this text one and click on this option so here is keyframes so select this two keyframes press s to smooth and make this curve something like this now select these two keyframes press s to smooth and make this curve something like this now next so select these and press s and set this curve something like this now it's done so press f4 to exit and go to flow window and now let's check this okay so it's looking nice okay okay now select this node and place it over here and take a merge node and connect this yellow point to this merge 1 and green point to this merge 3 and drag this merge to the viewer okay and now uncheck this guide so right click and here is guide and uncheck this option and click on fit and now let's play this animation okay now go to frame 20 and select this text 1 and 
go to setting option and here is opacity so right click on this click on animate and go to frame number 19 and make this opacity value 0 okay now go to frame number 200 and select this R2 and go to properties and here is width and right click and set key and go to frame number 230 and make this width value 0 okay now go to frame number 220 select this R1 and right click on width click on set key and go to frame number 250 and make this value 0 okay now go to spline window and press F4 and select this R1 and click on this option here select these keyframes press S to smooth and make this curve something like this okay now check this R2 and click on this option select these keyframes press S to smooth and make the curve something like this okay now it's done so press F4 and go to flow window now go to frame number 230 select this text 1 and go to properties and here is opacity so right click and set key and go to frame number 231 and make this opacity 0 okay now it's almost done now we have to create an aspect ratio for this animation so double click on this flow window and take a background node okay now select this and take a rectangle mask so click on this rectangle button and set this rectangle something like this okay now click on invert and place this over here and take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this and drag this to the viewer okay now it's done so let's check this animation okay so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye